it's time to mod our new 3DS or 2DS for free. This is actually an updated guide and currently as recording this the other popular homebrew guides are out of date so hopefully you can use this one to properly homebrew your 3DS without any issues. Now this guide is only compatible with the new models of 2DS and 3DS on the latest firmware version 11.17 so if you do not know if there is a C-Stick nub on your console you have a new model. Now this will not work with the old 2DS or 3DS's. If you are interested in how to homebrew those consoles I will have links below on videos on how to do so. For this guide you will need a new 2DS or 3DS with an internet connection. You'll need a micro SD card which if you're using the one that came with the device minus 4 gigabytes, that is enough for this video but I highly suggest upgrading to a larger one as you can see I have a 64 gigabyte one in my other 2DS and you can fit so much more content onto it. But just so you know there is an option to use the smaller ones to begin. I will have links to all the products I use in the description. You will also need a way to download and send files onto your SD card. This can be your PC, your Mac, or even a phone, as long as you can insert your SD card into it. I have this USB SD card reader so I can plug it into my PC and it works great. But once you have everything you need, let's get on with homebrewing our consoles. In the description down below, there will be a Google Doc link that will take you to this page for the Funky Scout 47 new 3DS guide for super skater hacks on 11.17. If you do not know what your firmware version is, head into your system settings and it'll tell you in the bottom right of the top screen. If you are not on the latest version, just go ahead and update and come back to the guide. As always, there is a disclaimer, so make sure to read that before beginning. But today we will be using the official written guide as you can see highlighted in green here it is let's head on over there together and start by downloading the files that we need before getting started we need to double check that our 2ds or 3ds does not already have cfw sometimes if you buy it off ebay they try to hide the fact that they homebrewed it already so we like to make sure so when powering on your device hold select and if it goes to the home menu you are good to go there's no custom firmware the first thing you'll notice is if you want extra support you can go to the official nintendo home homebrew discord server and this guide also accepts donations if you want to show them your support. Getting along with it let's scroll down to what you need. We're going to download all of these files. So we're going to start with super skater hacks. It'll take you over here and just grab this new 3ds zip file right here. You can keep this page open as we can use these QR codes later in the video. Back to the guide we're going to grab the direct download of safe bn9s installer. We're going to download boot 9 strap. Nimfax, hopefully I'm saying that right, that is actually one of the differences in this guide compared to the last, so download that as well. And the latest release of Luma 3DS. It'll take you here and you can grab the zip file. We can close that page and now it's time to prep our SD card. So open up the SD card. Here's what mine looks like. You might have extra files or folders like DCIM, but this is all that's on mine. If you are using a new larger SD card, you need to make sure that it's formatted as FAT32. So if you go to the SD card, right click and go to properties, you can see what file system right here. As you can see, mine is FAT32. If yours is 32 gigabytes or larger, you will need to use a program called DU Format, which you can find in the Google Doc right here under FAT32 Format. Just go to that page, click on the image to download the program and format your SD card. If you want a visual guide, I'll have that link down below if you want to follow that along just in case. But once you have it formatted as FAT32, let's get all the files set up properly. So I'm going to open up my downloads on the left here, and we have a bunch of zip files. We'll start off with the release new 3DS. Open up the zip file. You will need an extraction software. I use WinRAR. But here you can see there is different versions of the download. You need to select the region that you are on. So in my case, mine is USA on 11.17. So I'm going to grab this one right here. If you are on Europe, grab the Europe one and so on. Make sure to take note of your firmware version as well. So once you know which one to pick, just click on it and grab these two files inside and drag it to the root of your SD card. And close that and you can delete the zip file if you want. Next up we'll do the Luma 3DS right here. Open the zip file, grab the boot.3dsx and the boot.firm and drag it onto the root of your SD card. 
Once it's there, you can exit out of the zip file and delete it if you want. On the root of your SD card, right click and create a new folder. Call it boot 9 strap and we'll open the boot 9 strap zip file and drag both of these files into the folder we created. Exit out of the zip file, delete it, open up the safe BNINS installer and we're just gonna grab the .bin file. Make sure you're grabbing the right one, but drag it onto the root of your SD card. Close the zip file, and we're gonna create another folder on the root of our SD card, and we're gonna call it 3DS. This folder is gonna hold all of our homebrew applications and data. We're gonna open up the nimfax, and we're gonna drag it into the 3DS folder. Close the zip file, delete it, and we are finished. So once you are completed those steps, your SD card should look like this. In your 3DS folder, you should have nimfax, boot9 strap, you should have these files, and all of these on the root. Once your SD card looks like this, we can eject it and head over to our 2DS. But before heading over, if you go back to the Super Skater Hacks link where the QR codes are, we're gonna leave that open and use those in a little bit. And once you're in your home menu, just hit the shoulder pads both at the same time to open your camera. And if you are unable to open up your camera, just go to the internet browser and manually type in the URL instead. Make sure you select the one for your region. But if your camera works like mine, hit the QR code button and let's scan a QR code. Here they are. This one is USA, Europe, Japan, and this one is Korea. So I will be using the left one and line that up. URL found, so we're good to go. If you get a security certificate warning, just press A to allow the connection. Press A, press A again to launch the internet browser. If you have not opened it before, just go through the process. And you should see this GoGo -Go page right here. Now before moving forward, we're gonna hit the select button. And if your select button doesn't work, you can hit the star and we're gonna bookmark this page. So press on bookmark this page and you should have it bookmarked now. Press select again and press start. Tap on settings and we're gonna delete our cookies. Delete all cookies, hit yes, cookies deleted. Sorry, cookie monster. Now we're gonna press the home button and then press A to launch the browser again. It should bring you to the same page. If not, just head to the bookmark. And now it's time to click the go-go text. Just press A and it should run through this screen. And there we go, we are now in the homebrew launcher. If your console freezes on a yellow screen, just hold the power button until it turns off and then retry it. If you do try this with an old 3DS, it will not work. And now we're gonna launch the Nymphfax. Looks scary, but this is normal. We are now in safe B9S installer. So you'll see a key combination at the top of the screen. Just go ahead and do it. So mine is left, down, right, up, and A. Yours might be different. Once it's completed, just press A to continue and it should reboot into Luma 3DS configuration like so. In this guide, we won't be changing any of the settings. So just hit start and it should save and exit. And it should reboot into the home menu, but now we are running Luma 3DS custom firmware. And from now on, your console will boot into the Luma 3DS by default. Back on the official guide, scroll all the way to the bottom if you haven't been following me along on there, where it says finalizing setup. Click on it, it'll bring you to the next page, and it's time to finalize our setup. And now we can power off our console, take out our SD card, and head back onto the PC. So now you should be on this page of the official guide and the next steps are to create our NAND backup and install some homebrew programs. If you scroll down, you can see which programs we're gonna install, but I'll tell you what they do later in the video. So keep scrolling down until you see what you need and we're just gonna download this finalizing.zip. It'll download a zip file and we can open it right up. Open up your SD card and then just highlight all three folders on the zip file and drag them onto your SD card. If you're using a Mac, just hold the option key while dragging the folders to the root of your SD card, then click merge. We can close the zip file and now we are ready to reinsert our SD card into our console. The first thing we're gonna do is double check our CFW. So when you turn on your device, just hold select 
and it should boot into the Luma 3DS configuration menu just like that. If for some reason it did not, you do not have custom firmware properly installed, so you may have to redo the process. Just click start, it'll save and exit and reboot your console. And the next step, we are going to go into the Rosalina menu. So if you press the left shoulder, D-pad down, and select, you should see this screen right here. We're going to scroll all the way down to miscellaneous options. Go to dump DSP firmware. And once it's successfully written, just press B. And we're going to go up one to nullify user time offset. Op operation succeeded. Press B. Press B again, and press B to exit the Rosalina menu. And now we need to turn off our device, and we're going to use a script to automate all of the homebrew installation, SD card cleanup, and system file backup. If you've homebrewed a 3DS in the past, we are going to be finalizing the setup, but it automatically does everything for us, so it's a much more efficient way. Now that is also a big change from my previous video, but let's go and get started. We're going to turn our console back on, but we're going to hold the start button powered on and you should open up God Mode 9. If it asks you to create an essential files backup, just press A and then A to continue. If you have to fix the date and time, just press A and do so and press A to continue. But once we're on this page, we're gonna click the home button to bring up the action menu. Go down to scripts and press A on finalize. And this is gonna get our NAND backup. It's gonna install the homebrew apps and set up everything that needs to be finished. Once you're on this screen, just press A for yes. Press A to unlock your writing to SysNand, and it'll give you a key combo. Go ahead and do it, press A. You should see this screen, just press A for yes, and it will begin the process. This can take up to 15 minutes, so be patient and I will meet you back when it's done. And once it's completed, you should see this page, setup complete. So click A to continue, grab the SD card from your device, and let's go place our NAND backup in a safe spot. Once you're back on your PC, insert your SD card, go into your GM9 folder, go to backups, and you should see these three files. And now we're gonna place it in a safe spot. So I'm gonna create a folder on my desktop. I'm gonna call it new 2DS number two backup. That is because I have two different modded 2DS's, but you can call it whatever you'd like. And we're gonna grab all three of these files, so highlight them all and just drag them inside of that folder. The two SysNand files are your NAND backup and can be used to revert your console to a working state if it's bricked by a software issue, and the essential.exefs contains your console's system unique files that can be used to recover your data in the event of a hardware failure. So as you can tell, these are very important files to have just in case. But once they're transferred into your folder, you can delete them off of your SD card as they just take up extra space. If you're like me and homebrew different Nintendo consoles, or any consoles for that matter, I have a whole NAND backups folder. I'm just going to place my new 2DS in there. But once you're done with that, we are completely ready to go and let's hop over to the 3DS and I'll show you the new apps that you have. All right, once you turn on your 2DS or 3DS, of course, you should see new software has been added to the home menu. So let's go check it out. You got all of these GIFs, so let's open them up. The first one is Anemone, which will allow you to get seriously like so many different themes for your 3DS. There's a ton of different themes, so I highly suggest checking that out. The next one. This is Checkpoint, which is a save manager for 3DS and DS games. This is your official Homebrew Launcher app, where you can access Homebrew apps. Here we have FTPD, which will allow you to access your 3DS SD card wirelessly. Now this program, FBI, is very, very important. You will definitely be using this in the future to install CIA files to your 3DS. This one, Universal Updater, will allow you to download homebrew apps and games directly from your 3DS. And if you're interested in other apps and emulators and so on, I have a full playlist on what you can do with a modded 3DS linked in the document and the description. So make sure to check that out for what you can do next. But now you have a fully modded 3DS or 2DS. 
So I hope you were able to follow that guide well. If you ran into issues, comment down below and I can try to help you. But the best way to get help is to join the official Nintendo Homebrew Discord, which was linked in the written guide. You can also join my Discord for help or just to hang out. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like the video as it really helps the channel. And if you want to support the channel, you can also become a member, which gives you extra perks, including an exclusive chat in my Discord channel. And if you really want to support the channel, there is an option to buy me a coffee in the document or in the description as well. But of course, a like is good enough for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic time playing on your newly modded 2DS or 3DS. Stay funky and happy modding.